Hello, myself Surajim Sahu from Mind Magma, and in today's video, we are going to cover principles of drilling and drill bits. First of all, let's start with the content part. In this video, we are going to cover it in four parts. First is introduction part. Second is principle of rock drilling. Third is drillability and drillability index, and fourth is factors affecting drillability. So first of all, in introduction part, we are going to cover what is drilling. In, and different purpose of drilling in surface mining. In second part, in principle of rock drilling, we are going to cover the, how many types of drilling are there, like rotary drilling, hammer drilling, DTS drilling, or down the hole drilling. What is the principle of rock drilling? Like what is the basic structure of work? Then what are the blast hole characteristics? And a brief about rotary percussion and rotary percussion drilling. In third part, we are going to know about the drillability and drillability index. And in fourth part, we are going to cover about our factors affecting drillability in which we are going to cover our geomechanical parameters and the machine parameters. Let's start with the introduction part. So in first is what is drilling? So drilling is the process of making a hole into a hard surface where the length of the hole is very large compared to the diameter. So for example, we have a piece and it is, there is a drill bit. So this drill can make a hole in this piece. So as you can see that in this, the length of the hole is very large compared to the diameter of the hole. So, and in surface mining, it requires there are different purposes for the surface mining where the drilling is required. Like first is production drilling, exploration drilling, and technical drilling. So first of all, let's start with the production drilling. What is production drilling? So as per the name, you can see that this is done for making holes for placement of explosives for the blasting purpose. Now, why we require placing of explosives in blasting holes and what is the purpose and what is the objective behind it? So the objective of this the drilling and blasting is that to prepare well-fragmented loose rock, which will make the excavation easy with better productivity. Next part is the exploration drilling. What is exploration drilling? So it is the initial step or the first phase of drilling for the purpose of determining the physical properties and the boundaries of the reservoir to find out what is the proper properties where we are doing the drilling. Like what are the exploration part? We are exploring it. And what information does it provide? The question arises that what information it provides. So in lithology part, it identifies lithology and mineralization by providing core samples and rock cuttings. And second, in stratigraphic part, there are retrieved samples which can be used to identify stratigraph and structural networks such as fracture, networks, or faults. In third part is like technical drilling. Like what is technical drilling? So as you can see that it is saying technical drilling. So there is a pre-planned or planned drilling. What we are doing is known as technical drilling. Or I can say that where a high profile well planning is done and operations are monitored and it is usually known as technical drilling. Or for example, it is a well construction process that allows the well to, the, to be drilled or serviced in a short period of time. So in third point is that the, unless the rock mass is highly weathered and very much unconsolidated drilling of holes for placement of explosives and detonating them for blasting is required for any mining operation. So the statement is straight what it's saying that unless and until the rock mass is highly weathered or break to our requirement like how much we require it is break till that time or it is very much unconsolidated till that time we have to drill the hole then we have to place the explosive and we have to detonate and blast it to release with for any mining operation it is required. So that is the basic part. So this is by this we have covered our introduction part so let's start with the principles of rock drilling so as you can see on the screen there are three types of drilling first is rotary drilling hammer drilling and dts drilling or dth full form is down the hole drilling and hammer drilling is also known as top hammer so let's start with the rotary drilling part so originally it was used for drilling oil wells, but now it is used for blast hole drilling. So what is blast hole drilling? Blast hole drilling is basically, it is a technique which is used in mining where a hole is drilled into a surface and then the explosive is packed and it is explodes to get the material and then it is detonated and it is exploded. So that is what our blast hole drilling means. Now let us understand what is the basic working purpose. So as you can see in the diagram, there is a ton or you can see that there is a weight on top of the drill rod. 
So what it does is first the energy transmits through the drill rod. As you can see from the weight, a weight is put on or the energy is transmitted to, through the drill rod. And then, then the drill rod is also rotating. And then with high force, it hits the surface from the drill bit, as you can see. So this is the basic step. Like from the top, the weight is applied, the drill rod is moving or rotating and it, the energy is transmitted from the drill rod to the drill bit and then it hits the surface and then how it works. So basically, as you can see that there are two basic parameters in rotary drilling. One is high pressure and second is rotation. So these two parameters vary in different formation. For example, in soft formation, there is a low pressure or low weight is applied and high rotation is given to the drill rod. And in high formation, it is different or vice versa. In high formation, there is a high pressure or high weight on that and there is a low rotation. So that's what our rotary drilling. Let's go to the hammer drilling part. So as you can see in the diagram, what it does is, as you can see on top of that, there's a hammer. Or also you can say that it is a piston. With pistons hits the shank adapter, it creates a shock wave. Then that shock waves travels or transmits through drill string to the drill bit and then after drill bit, it, that energy is discharged from the drill bit and then it hits the surface of the rope and then it how it works. That is the working of our hammer drilling. As you can see that it gives also the rotation from the top. It gives the hammer gives or the hitting or it, by the hit of, on the shank adapter, it creates a shock wave. And then that shock wave travels from the drill rod and the energy is discharged from the drill bit and hits the surface of the rock. That is our hammer drilling. Then the third part is the DTS drilling or the down the hole drilling. So as per the name, you can see that the hammer is literally going down to the hole and there it is working. There's the only difference hammer drilling and down to hole drilling is that in hammer drilling, the piston or the like the pressure from which the shock wave is applied on top of the shank adapter on top of the drill rod. But here, what is the difference is that here the piston or the hammer is literally down the hole, literally on top of the drill bit where it is hitting that. And this are the powered by the compressed air and the piston punches the drill bit into the rock. And that's how the DTS drilling works. So that's what was about our rotary drilling, hammer drilling and DTS drilling. Let's go to the next part, which is the principle of rock drilling. So what is the basic principle of drilling? Or I am going to explain what is the basic principle of work, how the work is done. So as you can see that the principle is that rock tool interaction to make a penetration in work and mechanical energy is dissipated through a bit to a rock. So as you can see that if we are drilling something, so there are two things which will be requiring. First is a rock tool or a pointed thing. If you, if you, are, if you are planning to make a hole on the wall, then we need a key. Uh, we need a nail and then we need a hammer also. The same concept is here also. Here what they are doing is a rock tool interaction is there which is used to do the penetration part and from on top of that a mechanical energy is applied through because of which a bit or it can penetrate the rock or as you can see it is written mechanical energy is dissipated through a bit to a rock. So that is how what is the basic principle of rock drilling works. And the third part is that blast hole whatever we are creating blast holes have a certain unique and important characteristic such as hole diameter, hole depth and the direction and the straightness. Then the next part is rotary drilling. Let's discuss now what is rotary drilling. So there are two types. One is rotary crushing and one is rotary cutting. So first start with the rotary cutting. So what it does is it creates the hole by shear force breaking the rock's tensile strength. So what it does is it creates a shear force and by rotating only it creates a shear force and the breaking the rock, it breaks the tensile strength of the rock. The drill bit is furnished with cutters in search of hard metal alloys and the energy for breaking rock is provided by rotation torque in the drill rod. So the drill bit which we are using in rotary cutting, it is the, there are cutters inside which are fitted in hard metal alloys and the energy what it gets from the break for breaking the rock is provided by the rotation torque in the drill. And third is that it is limited to rock with low tensile strength such as salt, silt and soft limestone not containing abrasive quartz mineral the bit so it is limited it is not used in the high uh, 
tensile strength material it is used in low tensile strength such as salt silt and soft limestone and it is also not used on such quartz mineral which can be abrasive to the bit or which can make a wear and tear to the bit or harmful to the bit so that was our rotary cutting next is what is rotary crushing so basically in rotary crushing is that it breaks the rock by a high point load accomplished by a tooth drill bit which is pushed downward with high force so what it does is here the breaking of rock is done by a high point load and it is accomplished by a tooth drill bit it look like a tooth like many teeth are there and which is pushed downward with a high force a few very high force is applied to the bits and that's how this it breaks the rock and the second is the bit which is being of a tricon roller type fitted with a tungsten carbide buttons is simultaneously rotated and drill cuttings are removed from the whole bottom by blowing compressed air so as you can see that in this they are using a tricon roller type which is fitted in tungsten carbide buttons and it is simultaneously rotated and the drill cuttings which has been cut it has been removed by blowing it with the help of compressed air so that was our rotic cutting and rotic crushing next part is percussion drilling or also known as top hammer drilling so as you can see in this diagram so if you will read it that drill bit attached to the rope or cable is repeatedly raised and lowered impacting soil and rock and making a hole deeper so what is happening is basically as you can see in the diagram there is a wheel there is a tripod on which this whole arrangement is done there is a cable to control the drill bit to make the front and back or raised and lowered motion and and you can see that there is a winch power unit to control that and you can see that there is an upper arrow and a lower arrow which indicates that the upper and lower motion and this is how it works the drill bit is attached to a rope as you can see that there is a drill bit which is attached to the cable and with the help of winch power unit it is going upwards and downwards and it is hitting the rock or there because of that impact only it is breaking down and that is how it works and next part is the energy required to break the rock is generated by pneumatic or hydraulic rock drill to do this activity the energy how much it requires it is given by a pneumatic or a hydraulic rock drill so that was our percussion drilling or top hammer drilling next part is our rotary percussion drilling or also known as down the hole hammer so as i have explained it earlier let's see it in a brief so in rotary percussion drilling it consists of a combination of percussion and rotation so first of all what is percussion and rotation percussion is basically the up and down motion like hitting part and rotation is rotating part so it is the combination of both rotary percussion drilling so that's why the name is rotary percussion drilling and is also known as down the hole hammer and the hammer drill is located directly in the bore hole it is directly located at deep on the bore hole and these devices also known as down the hole hammer as written are and are connected to the rotating drill pipes it is rotating pipes so it is connected to rotating drill pipes and the driven directly by the flushing medium like after the drill is done there is a flushing medium also to cool out or take out the chips or the flushing part and next is the compressed air is usually used for this purpose as i have mentioned it earlier compressed is easy. compressed air is used for this purpose and in special purpose through which it also involves flushing with water there are flushing it can be done in one time it can be done by compressed air and in some special cases they use water also for flushing purpose let's go to our next slide which is drillability so what is drillability basically so ease of it is a ease of drilling a rock mass at a certain time to a certain length with the drilling bit what is saying is that like it is based on a penetration rate achieved by a 3 to 4 inch diameter bit drilling a hole of 4 inch depth so that is what a drillability means that it is based on the penetration rate like what is the penetration rate according to that we get to know about the drillability part and it is a property that cannot be accurately defined by a single mechanical property of the rock such as compressive or the tensile strength like it is it cannot be accurately defined by any single mechanical properties like compressive or tensile strength like it depends on more things so it is what the definition of drillability now next is what is drillability index or what is drillability rail index so it is just a measure 
or the value which will be given by measuring the hardness or the ease of rock deliverability. So that is what, or also say that the same thing what I said, that it is based on the penetration rate with the help of three to four inch diameter bit drilling a four inch depth hole that is how we get the drillability index or the dri drilling rate index so that was our drillability part so next part is what are the factors affecting drillability of rocks so let's start with the geomechanical parameters so first is that is the rock type what is rock type like as i've said earlier that if the formation is low then there is a different process that if the formation low, then we require uh, high rotate, uh, low pressure and high rotation. And if the high formation is then, then we require high pressure and low rotation. So that also like affects the drillability of rock. Then orientation of foliation also affects the drillability of rock. Different mineral compositions also like affects the drillability of rocks. Like it can be helpful or it can be tough. For the drilling purpose and discontinuous or discontinuity also affects the deliberability of rock like it deviates also and the next is the machine parameters as you can see that bit diameter also affects the drilling drillability of rock different drilling machine types also drillability of rocks it affects the drillability of rocks like different machines have different purpose different power different strength so that also affects the drilling machine types then what are the bit type we are using that also affects the drillability of rock then what are the rotation how much we are giving like as i said that there are the two parameters that is force or the upward force which we are giving and the other is the rotation part this both also affects or this also affects the drillability of rock so that was our machine parameters so i hope this topic is covered properly so thank you for mind magma